Welcome back. Let's get the show started in three, two, one, play. You see, it does have to do with the code. That nice poem you told us? That wasn't a didn't poem. Even it rhyme. didn't even rhyme. Hey. Yes, the letter part of it. My lines. All packages Remember that. must reach their destination. Something didn't reach its destination? Indeed. We've had incidents in the past where packages have been delivered to the wrong ponies. <laughs> Imagine Gee, that. I wonder who's responsible for that. Not a clue. We usually get those problems sorted out I fast, wonder what went wrong. but this was a shipment being How imported to Ponyville overseas. What was the shipment? I can't tell you that. Top secret. <laughs> a local pony wanted to import it here, and boy, was she mad when she didn't get it today. What do you mean? Who was this pony? It's Dirty. Top, top secret, secret we, we know. know. See? You're learning. I can tell you, though. I heard she was down at the post office yelling and screaming up a storm about it. She was causing quite the scene today. <clears throat> Someone who's trying so to get something fancy important. I'm I guess. guessing rarity. Yeah, I didn't witness it because I was at the trial myself, but my fellow mail carriers told me all about it. In the end, she didn't get her package and she was furious. I heard my boss was cursing about the Griffin Express not delivering the package to us. Griffin Express? Griffin Express? That's the company that ships overseas and stuff. You know, from the Griffin Kingdom, that place far up north of okay. Ponyville. So I'm gonna it is. go back what on I mean the uh, Gilda thing, the Griffin but Express there might be Griffins package. involved then. Hey, should I know? I told you, I'm but a lowly mail carrier. I only deliver stuff around Ponyville. And despite the small population, you still managed to mess it up. <laughs> hey, she got you All your I muffin. All I know is the Griffin Express didn't show up when they were supposed to. When was it they were supposed to deliver the package? Let me take a gander at my handy-dandy schedule. Hmm. Two days ago, it was supposed to reach Ponyville Mail sorting at 10 p.m. sharp, then delivered at 9.30 a.m. today. The time it was supposed to be in Ponyville! That's near the time of the murder! Hey, you're right. Ditsy doo can I borrow that schedule? Maybe I can use it in court tomorrow when defending Rainbow Dash. <sighs> Say it with me. Der. P. Hooves. <laughs> it's not that hard to remember. Uh, it's only three syllables, eleven letters, two words. I do my best to remember all the names of the ponies in Ponyville. You should do the same, Twilight Sparkle. What is this wonky Pegasus's problem? <laughs> hey, I know. So, is your name Derpy Hooves or Ditsy Do? Ha! I got her! She can't answer it! Now you really hurt my feelings. Why are you calling me harsh names like that? My name is Bright Eyes. You're just like every other pony, making uh, fun of my eyes. Okay. I can't help it if I was born with them. Mm. Twilight. So now there's three versions of but what? the pony in her in my I'm not head. making fun of her. She just keeps changing her name on a whim. I would love to give you my schedule as evidence, though. Huh? Court dramas. I adore them. The suspense. The tension. The judge is about to lay down the guilty verdict. Then out of nowhere, when all hope seems lost, the purple-horned attorney uses Bright Eyes' valuable turnabout schedule. The uh, courtroom gasps in disbelief. My gosh, Bright Eyes is amazing, trips one pony. She can deliver the mail any day, a hunky stallion <laughs> says while holding a rose in his mouth. Uh, the unbelievable becomes believable. Lies become truth. Truth becomes lies. Way to ham it up. <laughs> Besides, I have an extra one anyway. I love that. Thank you, Miss Bra... Miss Mailmare. Ah, uh, no problem, little filly. I see apple bloom caught on. Here, <laughs> I have one. a surprise for you. I like surprises. Here you are, a nice scrumptious muffin. Uh, but this is... <laughs> no need to thank me. Enjoy. But Bright Eyes, that's not a... Okay, that's it. You obviously aren't too bright if you can't remember my name. I gotta go now. You're holding up Ponyville's mail. But... No buts! I don't feel like speaking with you anymore. You can't even remember my name after I told you it like a million times. Good uh, and bye. Yeah, and Twilight, you really are kind of rude to not remember her name. So what did she give you, Apple Bloom? It's for some pony named Lenora. Lenora? I don't know any pony who goes by that name, but it sounds somehow familiar. I guess this muffin belongs to you. Let's trade. It says this Lenora is at the town hall. Wait a minute. This has the Canterlot Royal Seal on it. Did the princess send this? Well, if we know where she is, why don't we go deliver it to her then? Hmm. Apple Bloom, I really don't think we have time to do that. 
We need to get to the forest, and we Maybe can't keep getting sidetracked like real this. Name. But what if it's important? Well, I guess it does have the royal seal on it. Okay, fine. Cutie marker saying a letter deliverer! <laughs> <sighs> I thought it was a private investigator. Town Hall is just over there, so uh, let's go there and quickly drop it off to this Judging Lenora. by uh, Derpy's okay. skills at letter delivery, Apple Bloom would probably be a step up. I haven't been inside here since Nightmare Moon attacked. I wonder why we don't hold more events in this place. <laughs> Hello, Lenora, we have a letter for you. Apple Bloom, this is Town Hall. You're supposed to be quiet. Oh, sorry. We should probably go ask the mayor where this Lenora is. Hey, Twan, look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions. What the hell? What if we miss a big clue because we're too absorbed in small details like that? Where did she learn all those big words? <laughs> nice. I'm less concerned with what it's called and more concerned with why it's just sitting in the middle of the room like that. Wrestlers use ladders like that one all the time. Uh, don't tell me you actually watched that garbage apple bloom. It's all staged and fake. Hey, don't How call wrestling dare garbage. You. So what if it's fake? Twilight. Most of those books you read are fake. <laughs> There's a big difference between fiction and watching two ponies barbarically beat each other senseless with a stepladder. No, there isn't. Hmm. Finally! I've been waiting here forever. Oh my gosh, a griffin! So where's the princess at? Are you two her messengers or something? First a human, and now griffin? I'm seeing a lot of new creatures I ain't never seen before today. You okay? I I'm just a little bit shocked. Griffins come in and out of Ponyville shipping stuff sometimes, but I've There's a never lot of strange had similarities of one. between, uh... Well, except that one time. Some fictions and wrestling. You mean the Griffin Express? Funny you should mention that. I work for them. You work for the Griffin Express? Yep, but I'm on sort of a vacation right now. My name is Lenora. I'm I Twilight Sparkle, and this is Apple Bloom. Very pleased to meet you, Twilight Sparkler and Apple Bloom. Twilight it's, Sparkler. Um, Twilight Sparkle. Hey. Uh, no, I, I can't knew stop I'd seen that name before. You're on this program the for the Equestrian 500. You didn't think it would be all ponies Bunch flying in that race, did you? Take Actually, I drink did. Drink a potion and I don't become pay huge, to the monstrous race. creatures. You and your little pony pals may be faster and nimble, but us griffins have much What's stronger wings and a lot more stamina. It's why we're the only ones who can ship items overseas. I never said I was faster. I don't even really care either. Did you notice the horn protruding from my forehead or my not, lack of wings? Like, well, you should. It's a gathering of Equestria's best aerial athletes. Show a little patriotism, Twilight Sparkler. I'm too busy to be concerned about the race anyway. I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer? Yeah. Sort of. What's the matter? Oh, sorry. Where's your pen? I just had this strange feeling you were going to obnoxiously flash something in my face to prove it. <laughs> I was going to do that, but I remembered I don't have a badge yet. So if you're a lawyer, I'm betting you're defending that newbie racer who killed a pony the other day? She happens to be my friend, and she didn't do it. Jeez, chill. I'm only going off what I heard. Uh, sorry. The reason we wanted to speak to you was about this. Yeah, we got a letter for you. The local mail carrier accidentally gave us a letter posted to you. Tisk tisk. The GE would never make a mistake like that. We're proud and reliable. We even have a poem we recite at the beginning of each day. <laughs> oh, Please allow me. Uh, no, not another half-baked mail carrier poem. Please tell us. Please, please Carrying give it. your mail yes. suspended upon reliable wings. Jumping into action whenever duty sings. The Griffin Express will greet you with a smile when your doorbell rings. That was better than the last one. I think I need to make a poem for the Cutie Mark Crusaders. <laughs> it was still pretty bad, but... Sweetie Bell had a song. Rhymed. Here's her letter, letter Lenora. Scootaloo's song wasn't even that bad. Thank you. Let's see here... Sorry, but the princess is in another <laughs> castle, huh? Wait, the princess? As in Princess Celestia? Uh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh well. Huh? Oh, you see the griffins back at the kingdom don't want the racetrack going through our territory. I personally don't mind because I'm flying in the race anyway. But what's this have to do with Princess Celestia? I was to meet with her to negotiate a compromise, so I've been here in Ponyville for the past three days. Your princess was kind enough to let me stay in the town hall. Mm. So, technically, that would make you some sort of ambassador. 
I guess. Yep. The Griffin Kingdom may be a part of Equestria, but it runs under a completely different government. So what does the letter say? So it's kind of like the, the United Kingdom. Apparently the is in Germany in some other political meeting. She completely rerouted the race. It goes around Germany. the border of the Griffin <laughs> Kingdom, so I guess I'm a free okay. bird now. <laughs> I take it you're going to practice for the race now? Probably. I've been flying in it for I'm four years the president now, you know. Is a real doom Are you any good? Of course. I got second place last year. Not bad. I'm guessing East Swift came in first. Is it yep. me or do not many ponies or griffins <laughs> like him? Can we not talk about him, please? It's okay. We don't have to talk about him if you don't want to. Talk hmm. about him. Maybe I can get information about him from her. What about this other pony in the race? Cruise Control? Cruise Control? I'll gladly talk about him. Great! What do you know? Oh, sexy butt. I know a lot about the other racers. <laughs> I've competed against just about all of them before. But Cruise Control... He has a pretty depressing story. Okay. I don't think depressing is the right word. I think off his rocker is what you're looking for. Oh, that. That's all just a facade. I suppose he thought if he was to become a loser, he'd act like one. That whole awkward personality is just an act? He's actually good. Really good. He does exceptionally well in the local races near his hometown. Then why does he do so bad in the Equestrian 500? He says he comes in dead last every time. He's been acting like that ever since that accident his sister had. His sister? Okay. Yeah, he has a little sister. A bit older than that filly with you. What happened to her? She was flying at a dangerously high altitude near Cloudsdale. But she was too young and her wings weren't strong enough, so... Well, she fell. Is she alright? It was a terrible accident. She's in a deep coma in the extensive care unit. No one knows when she'll wake up. That's awful. Cruz took her to a hospital in Canterlot. I've heard it's the best one there is. Wait a minute. I used to live in Canterlot, and you're right, it is the best hospital, but it's only open to nobles and Canterlot citizens, and he said he was from Manhattan. How did he get her in there? I have a good idea how he pulled that off. That hospital's medical practice is among the best in Equestria, okay. and if she's transferred to a lower class facility, you probably know what'll happen. Wow. So Equestria's got these problems too. Him and I too. used to be good friends. But he's grown quite distant since the accident. Lenora, he knows something I have to get out of him. My friend's life may depend on what he knows. Do you know how I can get him to talk to me? Like I said, he's become pretty distant from me. I wish I could help you, Twilight Sparkler. Sparkle. Uh. Hmm. I don't know how much help it'll be, but here's a picture of him and his sister that he gave to me. You think this will get him to talk to me? I really don't know, but it's worth a shot, right? I guess so. I hope you manage to help your friend. Thank you. I'm going to go mingle around the starting line. Tell me how your conversation with Cruz goes if you can. Will do. Goodbye. She was a little shady on a bit of those details, but I'm beginning to understand what's going on here. What's wrong, Apple Bloom? Oh, it's just I couldn't imagine if Applejack was in the hospital like Mr. Cruz's sister. I know. It makes you appreciate the things you have now. Yeah. Never realize how important some pony is to you until they're gone. Hey, let's try to cheer up. You're not going to get your private investigator cutie mark sitting around feeling sad. You're right, Twa. Uh... All right. No more delays. Let's go to the forest. Really, this time. All right. I think it was over here. Hey, there's the branch you put Applejack no, wait, on when she was here. tiny. She's been dragging me around this forest for 25 minutes. Ah, it was right here, I remember. This is where you saw that thing fall from the sky? Yeah, it was somewhere around here. I hope this is worth it. Alright, I think it fell around this here bush. Applebloom, don't go off by yourself. <clears throat> Applebloom? I need to get some sleep. Oh, great. Applebloom! Here it is! Ugh, don't scare me like that! Sorry. I'm never having children. Here's that thing I saw fall down from the sky. Well, it seems that'll like make the bronies sort of a little bit better off Let's with Flash Sentry, maybe. Apple Bloom, we can't just go through some pony's belongings like- Ooh, looky, it's a bottle! <sighs> I tried. A bottle of what? I don't know. Whiskey. There isn't any label. Give it here, Apple Bloom. That's strange. She's right. There isn't any label on this. It looks like there's some sort of liquid inside. Do you know what it is, Twa? 
No, I don't. Let's give it a whiff. Maybe I can identify it by the smell. <laughs> It smells like concentrated used kitty litter. It smells that bad? It smells worse. What a waste of time. Here I thought this would have been case-breaking evidence, and I just ended up losing my sense of smell. Aww. What's the matter? I didn't get a cutie mark for being a private investigator. No, yeah, but you may have bad. seen... He helped I wonder what saved Rainbow. Or cutie mark would look like anyway. I don't know. Maybe a magnifying glass. That reminds me of something, Twilight. Do you remember what happened the last time we went to the Everfree Forest together? Apple Bloom, that was just your imagination. But I was there, and those ponies tried to. I refuse to believe in such things. The next day I went uh... and checked the area you were in myself. Nothing but trees as far as the eye can see. Just remember to stick by me no matter what this time. No wandering off by yourself, okay? Okay. Hey, cheer up! Even if it was just your imagination, that's a good thing. Maybe you can write a story about it. Really? A lot of writers base stories off personal experience. GD I'm Mark sure you Crusader can write a good story about yours. Fiction writers. Thanks, Pla. I think I'll do that. <sighs> well, this journey proved to be fairly fruitless. I'm sorry, Twilight. I thought it'd be something important. It's all right, Apple Bloom. We found a plethora of other things that may be useful tomorrow. What do you want to do now? I want to go speak with Cruise Control again. He knows something about Ace. Didn't he say he was going to register for the race? You're right. We should start by going to where the starting line for the Equestria 500 will be. The sooner we get out of this forest, the better. <clears throat> Is this where we meet Trixie again? I don't know, I just hey, get the feeling we're by Fluttershy's by house. <gasps> you're finally back! I thought you'd never come back and you'd be stuck in there forever or something, you're going to the forest like, woo! Okay. Pinky? <laughs> Guess I gotta keep waiting! What are you doing by the Everfree Forest, Pinky? Why do I suddenly want to hug my friend? TV? Your friend? It's... Hey, that's it! Huh? You found my thing, Twilight! Pinky, could you start making some sense, please? On the other hook, look who you're asking, Twilight. <laughs> My golf club! I've been looking for it for days! You're saying this miserable looking stick is a golf club? Twilight, let me introduce you to my very first invention, the Pinky Iron Mark V! If it's your first invention, what happened to Mark 1 through 4? Yep, find the sword if I do say so myself! It's all burnt and the end is broken off, if it's really a golf club. You're right! Some pony broke it! <coughs> Did you break my golf club, Twilight? N no! I found it in the lake at the park. I don't even play golf. That's weird, because I lost the pinky iron in the forest a week ago. I wonder how it got in the lake. What? Seven days ago, I was golfing in the forest when I lost grip of the handle while I was giving her a swing and it went flying. Whoosh! Just like a bird! Why would you go golfing in the forest? With all those trees around, wouldn't it be a little counterproductive? Yeah, I wanted a challenge. Of course. So you lost his golf club a week ago. That's really strange. How did it get in the lake, and why is it so busted up? Why would any pony break my poor little golf club? It didn't do anything to any pony! How this do you know? Suspicious. Your golf club Pinky, might be a rather broken. sinister one. May I keep it? I guess so. I'm already making mental blueprints for the Pinky Iron Mark 7. Whatever goes on in that head of hers, keep me out of it. <laughs> so, how long have you been waiting for your friend? It's not very smart going in the Everfree Forest alone. Trust me, I ended up turning into a life-size lawn ornament the last time I went in there by myself. Yeah. You said you wanted to meet some pony in there. And who's this friend you're waiting for, anyway? He's- <laughs> Ah! Watch where you're going! Oh! I'm sorry! The only person in town who makes Pinkie Pie look normal and sane. Hi again, Twilight Sparkle! Why did you smash into her, you idiot? She's right! Watch where you're going! You dropped all your things. I'll help you pick them up. Thank you. Uh, no! You should be a responsible adult and take responsibility for your actions! Not force a little filly to pick up your things! I really don't want to deal with this again. But I guess now is a better time than any if I want answers. Um, I will help too. Besides, I wanted to talk to you about a few things, Cruz. I can't. I'm in a big hurry. What were you doing in the Everfree Forest, anyway? 
Wow! That stuff you've got looks a lot like the stuff I found with Phoebe today. Like there's the ripped up paper, the pictures of the unicorn book, oh, and a list with Rainbow Dash on it. <laughs> hmm? I was just... I felt like taking a stroll. The wings tire out easy, you know? Can you please give me my stuff back? Please? Uh, something's going on here. What's the matter, Pla? Pinky, is your friend's name Phoenix? Yep, yep. I just call him Feeny, though. <laughs> wow, Twilight, how did you know? You must be psychic like that pony Feeny I met earlier. Cruz, if you have all his stuff, that means... P please I had to. What did you do to him? Please, Twilight, just give that stuff back to me. Abaloo, go to Fluttershy's cottage and get one of the police there. N no Please! Alright. Don't even think about running away. There are two of us and only one of you. Yeah, Twilight's oh, got the magic. Right paper thing. You really do have a lot of similar things. Pinky, for goodness sake. Oh, yeah, right! Don't even think about moving, bucko. Please, I don't want to go to jail. The police arrived, and with both mine and Pinky's testimony, they arrested Cruz Control on the spot and gave me all the stolen items. But it wasn't over yet. I had to go find out what Cruise Control had done to him. Oh. Pinky, I want you to take Apple Bloom back home. It's not safe out here. Okie dokie dokie! <laughs> oh, that reminds me! Your sister is looking for you, kiddo! Oh no! She's gonna give me trouble for running off! What are you going to do, Twilight? I have to go into the forest and find out what Cruz did to Phoenix. Oh! When you see him, tell him I had a blast with him today! We should do it more often! That's if I find him. <laughs> God, I can imagine. He's imagine what he was like around Pinkie Pie. Have to find him. Imagine someone who's not at all familiar with any of those shenanigans suddenly running into Pinky. No sign of him anywhere. You think Pretty culture Celestia shock is pretty is is bad? Fluttershy, Phoenix. What? But but how did she get out? And what's she doing with him? Ah. Uh. It's kind of yeah, a yeah. sexual thing. Look, I know you really must not like me after what I did today, but I can explain. I'm gonna Mr. go Phoenix super saying. Only trying to help Twilight. He never meant to hurt anyone. Let's go back to the library. I don't think it's a good idea to stay in this forest. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Library, June tenth, four thirty-three p.m. So that's why I did that. I know it wasn't fair to Fluttershy, but if I had just sat there and done nothing, Rainbow Dash would have been found guilty right there on the spot. I see. Do you still want to fire me? Of course. Uh, how did you- You're Look, fire! But I have to warn you, Trixie's one tough customer. I know it's terrible, I underestimated her. Despite all my experience, before, she managed to so trump everything I threw at her. In fact, she could have easily overruled my feather theory, since it was all just theory. What? I have a feeling the only reason she let me do that was to see another one of your friends in jail. Yep. She's gonna go all out tomorrow, so if you'd like to take over, I have to warn you about that. I don't know what I should do. If you really want to defend Rainbow Dash, at least allow me to do one more thing for you. You still want to help? Even though I was going to fire you? I'll do all I can to help someone who's being accused of a crime they didn't commit. I know for a fact Rainbow Dash didn't do anything wrong. And I know a certain pony who knows more than she's letting on. Actually, I do too. Phoenix, tell me, that thing we mixed in the evidence earlier, that wasn't a good luck charm, was it? Why do you ask? Let's just say I've been seeing a lot of locks today. <laughs> locks and... Ugh, chains? See, I knew you knew! Okay, what was that thing and what did they do on. to me? Uh, okay, I'll be honest. Since I don't know anything about don't, Phoenix I right out, I'm kind of curious. Me. I'm listening. You see, it's called a Magatama. A tool I use to see if people are hiding deep secrets from me. But don't get me wrong, I only use it when I'm investigating crimes. Deep secrets? If someone's keeping a deep secret, psychic barriers called psych locks will appear. The more locks, the deeper the secret. If you break those locks using proof and evidence, chances are the person, or in this case, the pony, will spill the beans. Interesting. 
This is amazing! Here he said that there was no magic in his world. This thing's power can really help me in collective surveys. <laughs> collective surveys. Uh, what about God. black ones? Black ones? What do you mean? There were... No, I shouldn't tell him about Trixie. I want to be the one to deal with that problem. Okay. Never mind. So, do you know how that thing's power got transferred into me? Not a clue. It probably had something to do with the way it reacted when you picked it up. Hmm. Well, I'm sure I can fix it, but I need it right now. But, since I told the truth, I expect the same from you. Yeah, right? Twilight. You're not a very good liar, Twilight. I could clearly see that you bringing me here was no accident. You did it on purpose, didn't you? No! no. He knows! I promised the princess! But I do owe him an explanation after what happened today. No, you don't. Tell him to go to hell. I'm that bad at lying, huh? Yeah, you're about as thin as Kleenex. I mean, identification spell? I know you have magic here and all, but that sounds like something a third grader came up with. I know that isn't a real spell. Okay, so I'm bad at improvising. <laughs> I was told not to say uh... anything, but I suppose I owe you an explanation. Princess Celestia herself told me to summon you and play dumb. So you knowing my name and having that badge prepared? Yeah, she did all that. I didn't know you were going to be from another world, though. But how does she know me? I'm a bit sketchy on that detail as well. I too find well, it really odd how she knew so much about you and how she was boasting about how good you were. A, yet, she was talking to Principal Celestia from before. the other world, and well, I certainly don't like the fact I was being deceived by you. But I think by you the way, that lawyer badge on his lapel. I apologize. Still, I was only doing what the princess told me to do. A big shiny purple heart, pink heart. Now all of a sudden, I feel really bad for lying. Hmm. So this evidence you found seems he had a good turnout. <laughs> Uh. Ah! What's the matter? The other half of the letter! Ah. The other half of the letter? Wait, you have it? Yeah, I found it with Pinkie Pie today. This is my letter. And the funny thing is, she didn't actually find absence. it, she just pulled it out of a After random nowhere. After the Equestria 500 is over, I can no longer work with you. We made quite the team, but I can't live with the guilt any longer. I can't keep helping you ruin others' lives. It saddens me beyond belief that we must part ways, but I must say farewell. Goodbye, Ace. May our paths cross in the future. Someone was quitting their job? Yeah, and I think I know who. Who? I'll tell you once I confirm my suspicion. You said you had someone you wanted to talk to, right? Perhaps we should go our separate ways again. You're right. Come back here once you're done, though. You were attacked, after all. You have my word. Spike? Take a letter. Yes, sir. Dear Princess Celestia. Sir, ma'am. Did you send out that appeal for me to take over yet? Oh, right. It's all done, but I haven't sent it yet. Do you want me to send it out now? No, put it on hold. I'll tell you whether to send it or not when I get back. But why? I just want to do something. All right, Twilight. By the way... Yes? Where's my gem, bitch? <clears throat> Sapphire! <laughs> oh my go. gosh, I forgot to stop by Rarity's place and get one for him! <laughs> uh, you know what? I got something even better than a silly old sapphire. A diamond? Better than a sapphire? R Ruby? Or emerald? No. Get ready. Signed, autographed my picture of red. Ric Flair. Ta-da! It's this lawyer book! <laughs> It was a really good read. Yes, so yes, yes. Please, please read of more of it. Read you, Spike. The only read it thing to better me. than food is food for the read mind, it to me, right? Please, I love that book. <laughs> you forgot, didn't you? Uh, gotta run, Spike. Hey, she's Enjoy been the busy. Book. Oh, I was hoping for at least one more passage. I like that book. Why did he drop out of the race? Why did he want to re-enter? Why did he attack Phoenix? I'm going to get all those answers right now. Why did you attack Rainbow Dash's lawyer? Because I'm a nut. I'm sorry. I'm Am I sounding too mean? I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. You look so sad. I can't let that distract me, though. I'll try to get him to talk about the secret I know he's hiding. Cruz, tell me, <clears throat> do you have something against Ace Swift? 
Another thing These from the, the thing? These are psycho locks. Please tell me. I have to know. Do I look like I'm in the mood to talk about him right now? No, but mentioning him broke your silence. Uh... I'm going to get this out of you one way or another. I told you already. I have nothing against him. Well, I think you do. Tell me then, Twilight Sparkle. Why would I have something against him? So what Maybe if he, he was flying with your time? sister when she every went too high? Every pony does that every year anyway. I'd hold resentment towards every single racer in the Equestrian 500 if that were the case. You're right. It has nothing to do with the race. It stems from something much deeper than that, doesn't it? The reason you don't like Ace is because of... Take that! This. W where H How did you get that? A friend of yours gave it to me. She told me all about your sister. I also noticed how your personality completely changed when Apple Bloom brought up her elder sister earlier today. She grounds me and makes me do a bunch of lame chores. It's uh... like she doesn't care about me at all. <laughs> Don't say that. Older yeah. siblings always care for the well-being of their younger brothers and sisters. I have a feeling this all relates to her. <laughs> Hitting him with the, uh... Phoenix was right! One of the locks sibling. broke! This is so exciting! The possibilities with this thing's power are endless! Maybe I could use it to... <laughs> Gotta focus on breaking the other two. So, what is it about her? I don't know. You tell me. Well, I heard she isn't in a great condition right now. She's in a hospital right now in a coma, right? I don't want to talk about this anymore. But she is in a hospital in Canterlot, according to your friend Lenora. So, so what? Cruz, I used to live in Canterlot. The hospital there is among the best there is. But it's specifically reserved for celebrities and nobles. Commoners and non-citizens are stuck with normal mm. clinics, and you and your sister are from Manhattan. <clears throat> yeah. You somehow Sounds snuck your like sister our world. there to get the best treatment. She got it's sent. The only hospital managed I to get her sent to the Mayo Clinic stable. instead of. I think I know how you got her in there. Random whatever. You have help from this pony. Take that. The late Ace Swift. What are you trying to pull here? First you say I hate him, then you say I got help from him. He's both a citizen and a celebrity. I think he pulled strings for you to get your sister in that hospital. That's a possibility. I. Uh, I... One left. If I can break this one, and maybe he pulled those strings because no, she was flying. No, you still with didn't him. answer me. Why would I hate him? In fact, I should be in his eternal debt from what you're telling me here. I'm beginning to understand why you resent him so much. Really? Because you're telling me the complete opposite. I realize it's not that you don't want to tell me. It's that you can't tell me, right? You're making less and less sense with each word you speak. I think I have all the puzzle pieces put in place now. This program here. That's for the Equestrian 500. Care to look at slot number three? According to someone I spoke with, you arrived in Ponyville a couple days ago. Not this morning. Okay. So I lied about when I got here. What's the big deal? I was told you signed up for the race when you arrived, but then mysteriously dropped out shortly afterwards. But then right after Ace Swift's death, you were on your way to re-enter. Yeah, that does it was sound pretty of him, suspicious. Wasn't it? He was threatening to take your sister out of that hospital if you didn't drop oh, out. Oh, god yeah. damn. Didn't break? Perhaps I need to push a little harder. I know now, Cruz. If that's what he was doing, then fuck A Swift. I'm Lenora sorry, got angry but. When I brought up Ace, why he was carrying embarrassing that pictures of my That is a dirty, friends. dirty thing to do. You do? It's all a big conspiracy, isn't it? The secret to Ace Swift's success wasn't that he was so good. He was blackmailing all the tough competition, wasn't he? Twilight. Yes? Thank you for finding this out by yourself. Which means every other... I did it! I so many other people locks. other than competition I'm would sorry, be potential, uh, straight out. other it's suspects. Okay. I understand. Would you be willing to share a bit more information with me? I don't know what to tell you. Everything you said was correct. If he was doing this to you, why participate in the race every year? Because he was forcing me to do that as well. If you want to look like the world's best athlete, you need competition. He forces the best of us to attend just so we can lose to him. Lenora and the others who have fallen victim to him sort of just treat second place like first. Why did you drop out then? Because of last year. Last year? I was losing just as he wanted me to. Then I accidentally flew headlong into a tornado that appeared in the middle of the flying route, and I blacked out. 
When I came to, I had noticed I'd been thrown way off the track. I flew as fast as I could to get back on the racetrack. When I saw the checkered flag up ahead, I thought the tornado sent me so far off course that the race was already long over. I needed some medical assistance from getting roughed up a bit by the tornado, so I used every drop of adrenaline to you take me to the finish first, and that pissed I them finally off. made it back to the course, but right as I was about to cross, I heard something behind me and noticed the other racers with Ace ahead of the pack. Then I remembered his deal. So he thought you were trying to win. Yes, but I immediately faked a cramp before crossing the finish line and let him win as he had told me. I suppose he didn't want to take the risk of losing to me, so he made me drop out completely this year. He did it to your friend for the same reason. Rainbow Dash? Yeah, her. She was targeted by him for the performance she gave at the Cloudsdale Young Flyer competition. I'm sure he didn't want some pony who performed a stunt like she did competing <laughs> against him. How did you know this? Because I was sick of it. Not to mention what she did to Starscream. I wanted to expose him as the cheater he really was. It's wrong! He would have had my sister taken out of that hospital. Do you understand why I'm glad he's dead now? I can't say he deserved to die, but I can. what he was doing was definitely wrong. I snuck into Fuck his hotel him. room and found a slip of Hard. paper saying he was meeting Rainbow Dash in the forest at 8.35 that night. No doubt negotiating one of his deals in private, like he did with the rest of us. So that's why Ace was in there that night. I waited near the entrance to the forest and took this picture. You didn't really get his face, but that's the lightning-proof suit. I'm not really a good photographer, and I didn't want him to catch me. Why did you take a picture of him anyway? I took it because, like I said, I wanted to get him caught for what he was doing. It would just be another rumor unless he was caught in the act. I brought it to the police as an anonymous tip, but they didn't do anything. They didn't listen to me. So Cruz was the anonymous tip Trixie spoke of. Uh, I think I know why they didn't listen to you. Were you in that other persona? You know, the one you were in when you met me today? Um, yeah, yeah I was. That's the reason. <clears throat> Oh. But how has he gotten away with this for such a long time? Some pony must have told the police about this blackmail business. He knew exactly how to keep us all quiet, like he's always watching us. He knows how to put us in positions where we can't refuse his demands. And because he helped your sister, you couldn't do anything? Mm hmm Yeah. In a way, I'm thankful for that, but... But? You don't know what it's like. He held me to it, making me his slave. I have to comply with his every word, otherwise he said he'd have her taken out of there. I've yearned to have a true race in the Equestrian 500. None of this second place is first garbage. Racing is what I live for, but I'm held down because of what Ace is doing. If you haven't heard, I actually used to do really well in the races before I was hindered by Ace. He really only entered the major athletic events. I had never even met him before my sister's accident. I don't blame myself for what happened to her. I don't blame any pony. It was an accident. Okay. Now I've just become a pathetic loser. I doubt she'd look up to me the same way if she could see me now. You're right. She wouldn't. I think she'd look up to you even more. You're the hero. What? You're doing all this to give her the care she needs. It's showing self-sacrifice. You're holding back in something you love doing for her well-being. I think you're a good big brother. Thank you, Twilight. But it doesn't change anything. I hate Ace, and he deserved what he got. Just forget it. I told you everything you wanted to know. Not everything. Huh? Why did you attack Rainbow Dash's lawyer? And this because I had to. Otherwise, he'd find out. Does this mean... Does this mean Cruz did it? I... I... Is this gonna be another Breaking Cruz, the Locks game? did you do it? Did you kill Ace? Twilight, I... Visiting hours are now over. I must ask all visitors to leave immediately. Oh. No! I need to talk to him for a little bit longer! I'm not going to repeat myself. Please exit the detention center now. I was so close. Uh. Okay. I'm glad that Rainbow wasn't sleeping with Twilight. With A Swift. She can do much better. I don't know what to make of this. Soren is My best guess is after choice. the police wouldn't help him, Cruz went to the crime scene and killed Ace out of desperation. 
police must have been blackmailing Lenora Actually, I'm somehow. pretty sure at this point just about anybody, any pony would be a better, better choice. Brought him up. Wait a minute. Feathers? It's a brown feather. Well, that was pointless. Probably from a bird. No, it can't be. No bird in Ponyville is this big. Could that feather have come from... Yeah. <laughs> Twilight's a total nerd. I'll try. Excuse me? Oh, you're back, Twilight! I, um... Uh, I was just on my way to, um... Organize those awesome books <laughs> my intelligent and smart friend reads. Yeah. Uh, later! Did you find out what you needed to know? Yes, I'll fill you in about it tomorrow. I have a good idea who's behind all this. Okay. Wait, so you're not firing me? I thought about it, and I realize now that you mean well. And if what you say is true, you stand a better chance against Trixie than I do. Please, just tell me when you're going to do something like you did today. Yeah, I will. I shouldn't need to do anything like that again. From here on out, I'll try to <laughs> find nope, out tomorrow what really it's happened in that, in jail. that night. Fluttershy forgave you, so I guess I can too. The princess also said I can trust you. I'll try. Not tomorrow's gonna no, be Princess Luna. I won't. She's let used you to down being isolated. Time. She's been mm -hmm. in the moon for a thousand years. That so. spare bed is in the same place. Try to get lots of sleep this time. I'm pretty tired after all that's happened today. Investigating sure takes a lot out of you. Tell me about it. I think I'm going to bed early. All right. I'm probably gonna crash soon as well. Good night. I know I'm not making the wrong decision here. I'll tell Phoenix about Cruz and Lenora in the morning. I still can't get my mind off Trixie, though. Why were those locks black, and why did they feel like that? Perhaps I'll seek out the answer after this trial is over. Rainbow Dash's well-being takes top priority right now, and I found some suspects. It's just a matter of proving they did it. Okay, and that's the end, uh, is it? Maybe? I don't know. What's up with the... Okay, here comes the credits, I think. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Uh, I guess on this point, I gotta go with Lenora as my lead suspect just because of the feather you and the. Uh, the uh, bag. She seems like the best candidate at, the, at this time. Honestly, at this point, it could be any, just about any major racer or so. There's no telling. He's the one who actually killed A Swift. Uh, yeah. Don't have a lot to say at this point. I'm just kind of wondering. I'm gonna go. I don't think it's the. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, it seems like. Uh, he seems like the kind of the uh, the too obvious choice that shows like this like to go for. That's why I'm kind of siding against him as being the person involved. I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna stick with uh, Lenora since her feather was an area. And she had the incentive to make Aside from that, actually, I think I'm going to call it uh, here and let the uh, credits roll. Hope to see you later. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. But above all else, have a nice day.